Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impostech. I am Yogesh. So today I come up with a new IoT project, and this project is about IoT best heart rate monitoring. So here I am going to use ESP32 board and the pulse rate sensor. So using the ESP32 and the pulse rate sensor, I am going to send the data to the Blink IoT platform. So this is how we can easily able to monitor the patient's pulse rate remotely at far end. So the main purpose of this project is to build the patient health monitoring system or you can say to build the patient heart rate monitoring system. So first we will learn about how to build the circuit diagram of the project. Second we will configure the Blink IoT platform. Third we will learn about the programming for the same in the Arduino IDE and the last we will see how this project works. So without wasting time, let's get started. So here, uh, as I told you, that we are using here ESP32 board and the pulse sensor. So here I'm using the EasyIDA platform for building the circuit diagram, or you can use this also for building the PCB and all. So now in order to add the components, you just have to search on library. You just search here, whatever the component you want, you can search and then you can easily add it. Also, you can mark this component as a favorite and then you can see all of your component in favorite section. So this is how you are going to search for the components. Uh, I have added the pulse sensor as well as the ESP32 board. So pulse sensor has the ground, VCC and the signal. These are the three pins which pulse sensor has. Uh, so here I am going to connect the ground of the pulse sensor to the ground of the ESP32. The VCC of the pulse sensor to the VIN pin of the ESP32. So here I'll connect the signal pin to the pin number 32 of the ESP32 port. Now here, let me select the wire. Here I've selected the wire and now I'll just start doing connections. Okay, so let me connect this ground pin to the ground. So now I'll connect this VCC pin to the VIN pin. It's connected VCC to the VIN. Now connect the signal pin to the pin number 32. So this is the simplest circuit diagram of the project. Now we have built this circuit diagram, I'll just save this circuit diagram. So now we will see how to configure the Blink IoT platform in order to upload the data of the pulse sensor to the Blink IoT platform. So now I'll go to the Blink IoT platform. So this is Blink IoT platform and I've already logged into my account. So if you wanted to know how to create the template, how to configure the Blink IoT platform step by step, then I have already created a lot of videos on the Blink IoT platform. So I will mention the link in the description box as well as in the i button. So you can watch those videos and then come back here. So here I have already created a template for the project named IoT Based Heart Rate Monitoring. Now here you have to basically provide some information which hardware you are going to use and the connection type. Basically you, we are using here ESP32 and the connection type is Wi-Fi. So inside the template, you will see there are different types of sections. One is like info, metadata, data stream, events, automations, web dashboard, and mobile dashboard. Now metadata means this is the data related to your device. So you have to add the data which is related to your device that like device name, device owner, location, device time zone, and the hotspot name. So these are the data which is related to the device. Now here comes the main part inside the template, which is data stream. So now what is data stream? So data stream is basically a bridging the gap between the device and the IoT cloud platform. So whenever we will create any new data stream inside the template, we will give them a virtual pin. So here you can see I have created one data stream pulse sensor and I have given the virtual pin V0 or whatever the data I'm getting from the sensors, I will write those sensors data to this V0 virtual pin. It might sound complex to you as of now, but I will explain to you this in while explaining you the coding part of this project. As of now, you just make sure this is the bridging gap between the device and the IoT cloud platform. So here I've selected the virtual pin V0. You can also create much more data streams but it depends upon how many sensors you are using. So here I'm using only one sensor. So that's why I have created only one data stream. So in automation tab, what we can do, we can create some alert system or you can say we can create some push notification system. 
let suppose if your heartbeat if patient's heartbeat is greater than certain value then we can able to send a notification on the user's mobile phone so for that purpose we have this automation tab now let's go to the web dashboard now here we will create a dashboard where you can easily able to see the data coming from the sensor in visual format now here i've already added the widget so you can add your own widget from the left hand side you can see here you can add all the widget so i'll just add the chart here so just for understanding purpose i have just added the chart so you will get to know how to add the widget into the dashboard so just click on setting and give the name so i'll write here heart rate chart now add the data stream so here i'll just add this data stream okay and now i'll just don't do anything i'll just click on save i'm just giving you an example how to add the data now if you wanted to configure the mobile dashboard then you have to go to the mobile app of the blink id platform so now we have successfully configured the template for iot based heart rate monitoring system now here i'm not configuring the mobile dashboard but it, this is also very simple you just watch my previous videos now the next step is we need to add a device to this template so how to add a device to this template so you can see there is a search icon on the left just click on this search icon now on the right hand side you can see there is option called plus new device so if you click on this plus new device as of now it says that I have reached the maximum number of device because here i am using the free version of the blink id platform but I'll let me tell you how you are going to add a device you just have to click on plus new device and then it will ask you the template which you wanted to add the device then you have to select the template so here I have already selected the template called IoT based heart rate monitoring system and I have already added a device for the same you just have to follow the simple step so now we will see the most important part of this project that is coding here inside the board you will see Blink template ID, Blink template name, Blink authorization token. So how will you get all those things? You just have to go to the dashboard once again. And here you can see you just have to go come to the devices and select your device and go to the device info and here you can see and just click on copy. So it's copied and go back to your coding and just paste it here. So you got all the three things, Blink template ID, Blink template name and the authorization token. Now, here you can see that there are a few basic libraries that you need to use. So I have already added these libraries in, in my Arduino. So let me know in, uh, inside the comment section that you are getting any error in the code. Now, as I mentioned you, I have defined the pulse pin, which is pin number 32. That means this is the pin of pulse sensor i have connected the pulse sensor to the pin number 32 now also i have connected one led sorry i haven't explained you that i have connected the led to the pin number 33 so you can connect led to the pin number 33 i haven't connected but you can connect it's simple here you can see that you need to provide here your wi-fi credentials so i have provided the wi-fi credentials like password and the ssid name so inside the voice setup i have just initiated the serial monitor now all of, all of this command is basically for connection of the Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi is not connected, it says Wi-Fi is connecting. So these are all the commands for connecting the Wi-Fi. You know that inside the void setup, we need to define which pins are input pin and which pins are output pins. Now as you know that this pulse sensor is giving us the output and then we are giving this output to the ESP32. So for ESP32, it's an input. Now, so pulse in basically input pin and the LED pin you know that LED is giving us the light that means it's output pin now also during the start of the project I have defined the LED pin low that means my LED will turn off during the start of the project so here you can see I have defined one variable which is pulse value and we have this we have defined this variable as a global variable and now here you can see we are sending the pulse value using the command analog read 
into the variable called pulse value here you can see so here you can see i have used the conditional statement in order to turn on the led on the specific value of the pulse sensor now so if the pulse value is greater than 600 then i'm just turning on the led high this is the most important part of the coding that is why this formula came bpm is equal to 60,000 divided by pulse value now the value 60,000 is used because it represents the number of milliseconds in a minute now pulse sensor gives us the value between two heartbeats in milliseconds so in order to calculate the bpm we need to divide 60,000 that means milliseconds in one minute divided by pulse value which is also in milliseconds so this is how i'm going to get the bpm value i hope you understand so if you don't understand i will add the explanation inside the description box as well it's basically 60,000 is because I wanted to know the number of milliseconds in one minute and why we are using this in milliseconds because we are getting the pulse sensor value in milliseconds as well. So that's why we can calculate the BPM using 60,000 divided by pulse value. This is very simple. Now here you can see I'm just printing all the data onto the serial monitor. This is very simple line of code. In order to print anything on the serial monitor, you just have to use serial.print then you can print the data onto the serial monitor. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have created one data stream with virtual pin of V0. And also I've explained to you what is data stream. So here you can see we are writing the BPM value to the virtual pin that we have created. That means whatever the value inside the BPM will go to the virtual pin V0. So this V0 is basically a data stream. So this V0 is basically a data stream that we have created. Now, at the last, it's very simple. I have created one string in order to see the message on the serial monitor. This is very simple. And this is the function for the blink, which will run in the loop for continuously. So I hope you understand this program. So this is like quite simple program, which I have written. So I have already uploaded the code in ESP32. So on the screen, you can see the ESP32 port and the pulse sensor. Now pulse sensor is turned off. So what I'll do, I'll just click on the serial monitor first and then you can see the BPM rate. So this BPM rate basically, it can like vary or you can give the false reading due to the direct light present on the, due to the direct light falling. So this pulse sensor give you the false reading because of the direct light falling on the pulse sensor. So you, you can use pulse sensor in like by covering the pulse sensor and all. Okay. So now I just wanted to see this data onto the IoT platform. So let's see that. Okay, so now I'll just go to the device. So here you can see it says my device is online. I'll click here and I'll just click here. And now you can see the data on the dashboard. That this data is updating in real time, you can see. So now you can see the same data on the mobile phone as well. So if you found this project useful for you, then do subscribe the channel, like the video, press the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.